friends, uh, I am Dr. Sadeep. I have already uh, in my channel, I uh, will be uploading videos uh, concerning the homeopathic subjects that is the practical application of homeopathy and how to practice homeopathy classically. What exactly Hanuman wanted to do, wanted his follow people, his follow uh, doctors, fellow doctors must do classical homeopathy. So that uh, I will be discussing uh, uh, in my channel and I have already done so many uh, videos on the basics of uh, homeopathy that is how to take the case, how to evaluate the case, how to uh, repertorize, how to form the rubrics and how to come to the individualistic homeopathic medicine. So these are all the topics I have already uh, talked and uh, done few videos. So you can come to my channel and uh, uh, see those videos friends. So today's subject is mind symptoms. This mind symptoms are really difficult. I mean to say that a person who is matured, a person who has experienced the patient's suffering and he can understand his body, mind and spirit aspects can evaluate mind aspect. So it is very uh, difficult to suddenly go and elicit the mind rubrics or mind symptoms. Why? Because mind is uh, divided into uh, three levels that is conscious level, subconscious level and unconscious level. This is the basic classification of the mind. But in homeopathy, we have mind symptoms in all the three levels of uh, mind. So this is very difficult sometimes to a beginner to elicit this uh, mind rubrics. Due to that reason, it's better to approach the patient in some other way to find the totality of the symptoms. So if you want to understand the mind of the uh, patient, you must know how the mind works, what are the mind factors, what are the depth of the mind, how to reach the depth of the mind. So these are all the things if you know, then only you can elicit the mind rubrics or mind symptoms. So as I uh, told you, the classification of the mind that is conscious mind, subconscious and uh, unconscious mind. So we have symptoms in all the three groups or the all the three levels of uh, mind. So this conscious mind usually will not give much information what a homeopathic physician requires because this conscious mind always wants to hide the things and it always gives in a negative way. So I mean to say that if a person is foolish he will be pretending he is very intelligent. So uh, I mean to tell you that if you want to understand the mind games, a person who is pretending himself very intelligent, he himself giving an opposite symptom that he is foolish. A person who is very very poor want to pretend like a king. So the other way round is also true. So this is the problem with the beginners to understand the mind symptoms or the mind rubrics. So this is in the conscious level of the mind. If you go to the subconscious and the unconscious uh, uh, part of the minds, here Dr. Honeyman has taken care and fine tuning of the uh, understanding of homeopathy is needed. Here in subconscious and unconscious uh, uh, part of the mind, the dreams are very, very, very important so that it will guide towards the individualistic identity of the patient. So for a beginner, it will be little difficult to elicite the mind rubrics, mind symptoms to take the dreams and evaluate and convert into two rubrics. So due to that reason, 
binder bricks are not been much taught in our uh, uh, colleges and in our uh, curriculum and it is the self uh, effort which is required to understand the human mind so in my practice i don't usually go and elucidate this mind uh, symptoms i usually go step by step step by step so that you can reach the topmost thing that is mind only when you have a strong base due to that reason it's not fair to go and elucidate this mind rubric suddenly so first what i advise for the beginning homeopathic physician or the beginning faculty in homeopathy is they must understand the psychology they must understand the mind games they must understand the delusions they must understand the deliriums they must understand this conscious subconscious and uh, unconscious uh, part of the uh, mind and understand the totality of the mind how it works how it uh, uh, it uh, gives the command to the subordinates then only it becomes a little easy to understand the mind rubrics or the mind symptoms in the patients so today i am telling all those which is very very important regarding the mind rubrics or mind symptoms so as i told you the uh, unconscious mind how it behaves so if you come to the subconscious mind so this is the master mind actually subconscious is a master mind which is hiding behind the conscious mind and the part of conscious mind is very very minimal that is only 10% of uh, uh, mind is of uh, conscious uh, mind remaining 90% is subconscious and unconscious the powerful mind is subconscious and unconscious mind due to that reason we get triggers from the subconscious and the unconscious due to that reason we get triggered by irritability by fears by aversions by desires and all our key factors are in subconscious and unconscious due to that reason they trigger whenever there is a stimulus a beginning homeopathic practitioner should understand to reach these parts of the brain sorry these parts of the mind that is subconscious and unconscious part of the mind wherein he can evaluate the uh, present patient before him by irritability by fears by aversions by desires by dreams by sleep so there are so many factors involved in this uh, mind rubrics it becomes a very big uh, uh, video if i go on talking about this i am just making you understand this like mind is a big thing wherein you should understand the basics of the mind and you should understand what is given in our repertory that is mind rubrics you must understand in detail about each rubric of the mind and you must have an imaginative power that how the patient comes and tells you or how the patient comes and behaves before you then only this mind rubrics can be elucidated and taken into our uh, repertorization so one of the very good book what i came across is farooq j master dr farooq j master has a book called as mind rubrics he has given details of all the mind rubrics with the meaning with the explanation and with the remedies which are indicated in those mind rubrics if you go through this book then it will be very easy to understand this mind rubrics or the mind symptoms so i uh, wanted to make you aware of this mind is a big chapter it is not easy uh, to go suddenly to this mind rubrics or mind symptoms so as you know only i talked about 
three basic uh, levels of this uh, mind actually if you go in a minute depth wise uh, uh, understanding of the mind so it is very very interesting uh, topic it becomes i will take each uh, uh, level of mind in a different video today's video i wanted to talk about all these things friends if you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel i'll be making such videos in future also if you have any queries please uh, uh, put in our uh, comment section i will try to answer all those queries thank you take care friends